and a Welch's grape soda. So let's dig in. <clears throat> I haven't ate nothing all morning. So this is my first meal of the day. And I've been doing pretty good with my diet so far, you know. I mean, um, uh, I've cut out, I mean, I really don't drink soda like that. Every once in a while, I drink soda, but mainly I drink mostly water. But every once in a while, I'll treat myself to a soda. And I cut out red meat, so... All I eat is chicken, turkey, and fish. And chicken, broccoli with white rice is pretty healthy for you. It's like probably only like 350 calories. So, mm. But it's sad that <clears throat> when you find out, I mean, it's sad that it takes, like when you find out like you have health issues, like, because I'm pre-diabetic. So now, my doctor tells me, you know, you have to really watch how you eat and how you take care of your body. Because as you get older, you're going to have serious health problems. And I really don't want to go down a route of me getting, you know, sick and wishing like, oh, I wish I had did this and I had did that. So, you know, I tell y'all. If you're young, you know, start taking your start taking care of your body now because life is short. Life is extremely short, so take care good care of yourself. But I'm extremely proud of myself because I feel a lot much better. You know. And I really shouldn't be eating out, but this isn't too bad. I think it's better if you cook your own meals because you know what, what you're putting into it. And fast food has a lot of salt, a lot of sodium. And you never really know exactly what, they, what they're putting in. You don't know what you're eating, so, you know. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. This is like my favorite thing to order from the Chinese restaurant. I I don't really like to order. I don't really care for other all the other foods like their, you know, rib tips and stuff with beef and pork. Cause you know with this Chinese food, you really don't know what you're eating. So and who knows what this is right here? But it's hella tasty, so I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Mm -mm. But how's y'all day going? You know, I've been in a pretty good space lately, thank God. And a lot of times we really have to, you know, I tend to th take things for granted, like. God has done so much for me in these past couple of years. And, like, I've been through a lot of things. But, you know, as time goes on, I feel like I'm getting better, you know. You know, I'm just... I feel like as I get older, you know, things get better. So, it's very important to try to stay positive. You know what I'm saying? I hope this video doesn't this video doesn't go on for too long because it's not like I'm a big YouTuber or something. So I don't know how much time it's gonna allow me to to you know upload. This is fried calamari right here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So delicious. I'm probably going to stop this when it gets to 10 minutes. 
because I don't know if it's going to let me upload a full mukbang. Sorry for the smacking, but it's good, girl. It's good. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of times, I don't know. I don't know. I hate to blame, blame things on my son, but I feel like sometimes I do mischievous things because I am a Gemini, and I tend to get bored easily. So sometimes I can be a little bit of a... You know, an innocent troublemaker, but I don't mean to. I don't mean any harm. So, if I'm on YouTube and I say anything negative to anybody, or if I, if you feel like I disrespect you, disrespect you, then you know I apologize for that. You know, cause you know I'm not a mean person. I'm not a bad person at all. Mm mm mm. To be honest, Trisha Paytas has inspired me to do these type of videos. And I'm not saying that I will I will be as big as Trisha Paytas or anything like that, but I really enjoy her videos, you know. I like her confidence, you know. And I hope someday, you know, I have the confidence to walk around with a camera and vlog, you know, my personal life. Not that I have too many things going on, but, you know, I have to give it to these big YouTubers that have the confidence to walk around with a camera and vlog and, you know, and get paid for it, you know? But this YouTube stuff is no joke. I don't. Because... Editing is editing is hard, like, and I have I lose patience really really quick. So I'll probably like vlog. I'll probably like you know get on camera, say a few things, but like the editing process is just my mind is just like dang, like I don't know. It's probably because I have ADHD, so it's hard to focus, and it seems like it's just so many things going on. But if I I know that if I take my time and pay attention, you know, and really, you know, have the patience for it, you know, I can, you know, I can do it. But I'm so impatient with things, which which I'm trying to work on because anything that's worth having, you got to work hard for it, you know. It's not going to come easy. You know, every day I choose to work on something like... If I know that I don't like something about myself, you know, I try to work on it, you know. You know, it's not an easy thing to do, but I got to put in the effort, you know. Mm. I hope my volume isn't too low. So hopefully you guys can hear me. It's just actually type kind of comforting because I see when people say like, oh, you guys are my friends. You know, I don't really have friends. So they turn on the camera and they start recording. And, you know, it's kind of comforting. So, and for the little views that I do get, you know, I appreciate it. I really do. But... I was on YouTube the other day, you know, the black section of YouTube, because, you know, sometimes I'll go on people's, <clears throat> I'll go on somebody's live and they're talking about black relationships or, you know, black women, black men. And, you know, it kind of, it's kind of heartbreaking because why in the black community do we have so much problems with each other, you know? Like, I don't understand I don't understand why it's so hard for us to get along with each other. You know? 
I mean, I don't have a problem. I, I can get along with anybody until I feel like you disrespect me or something like that. But we as black people seem like we have so much hatred, you know, towards one another. And it's sad. It really is. Black men and black women, you know. I don't know what it's going to take for us to come together to get along, but, you know, everybody has to put in the effort. You know, we have to just do better as a whole. <clears throat> and, you know, sometimes they say that black men hate black women, but which I think is, you know, kind of halfway true. Especially from the area that I'm in. Like, I'm from New York, and men from New York can be very ruthless, you know. Not all of them, but a lot of them can be very rude and disrespectful towards women. And I don't know if it's because of their upbringing, because they grew up in a single-parent home. A lot, of the, a lot of them didn't have, you know, their fathers around. You know, I grew up in a two-parent home, like... My mom and my father, I love both dearly. And my father, you know, I'm spoiled. I'm a, I'm a daddy's girl. So I think the reason why I have tr such trouble with relationships because I want a man. You know, some people's like, oh, you know, you shouldn't want that from a person because that's just too much. But I want a man that's like my father, you know. My father, you know, he'll do anything for me. And not to say that I won't do anything for the man that I love, you know, if I find somebody. But I'm just, I can't settle for a man that's going to be disrespectful towards me. And I feel like in order to get... In order to get... What you want out of life, <coughs> excuse me, you know, you have to put the effort in on yourself. So, you know, I try to make it a habit to, you know, upkeep my appearance to try to eat healthy. I mean, I haven't, I haven't gotten a gym membership yet because I'm trying to build up the courage to get a gym membership because it's kind of scary, like. You know, they say that black women don't don't like to work out, which is not true. I feel like deep down, a lot of women have like a deep fear of the gym because they don't want to be made front of. Because not know how to use the equipment, you know, you know, seeing a bunch of skinny people on the machines, you know, it's kind of intimidating and, you know. I know that nobody's really thinking about you when you go in the gym, but I just have to build up that courage to go to the gym. But I'm going I'm to get one. I'm going to get a gym, gym membership, though. <clears throat> you know, but... Life is crazy. It really is. <clears throat> this is like the only type of broccoli that I like. Chinese broccoli. Like homemade broccoli or broccoli out of other like from other restaurants. I can't eat it because it has no taste to it, but Chinese broccoli be on the money. I was gonna go walk to um <clears throat> to Chipotle, but it's cold as hell outside, and I honestly just didn't feel like walking. Too lazy, so I just decided to order some Chinese food.
Mm. But <clears throat> I think I'm going to end this video right now because I don't know how much time I have in order to upload. So, you know, that's all I really wanted to say. So, I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.